Hello everyone. Um, my name is Yas Lee. Um, I'm from the SAP Business One Social Architect team. And in the following um, 20 minutes, I'm going to demonstrate you um, uh, to how to integrate SAP CRM and Business One and with the B1 ISM. And then I'm going to show the demo, two demos. Um, the first one would be um, synchronizing synchronizing the the lead from SAP CRM and um, into um, the subsidiary uh, business one as the business partner lead. And the second scenario uh, would be. Uh, when I create a sales opportunity in SAP CRM, and then I uh, automatically will synchronize this sales opportunity um, into the subsidiary business one as the sales opportunity um, as well. So um, let's have a look at the details um, demonstration one by one. The first one, let's have a look at the, um, the scenario, the synchronization, um, the lead uh, from SAP CRM to business one. Um, the user um, from SAP CRM uh, create um, update the lead and then um, uh, you will send the IDOC um, uh, from the SAP CRM to, B, uh, to B1 ISM. And for the demo uh, for the demonstration I create one package uh, for this um, for the scenario CRM to business one and then I listen for this um, scenario. I'm listening to the to the IDOC message um, coming from the SAP CRM, and then I transform in the B1SM scenario and transform the IDOC message um, into exactly uh, business one business partner um, message format, and then hand over to the um, business one's receiver um, here, um, and then automatically you will create a uh, business partner as a lead for me. Okay, and before uh, the live demo, I would like to um, talk a little bit about my landscape um, in, in, in my demo system. Um, first of all, uh, in the, uh, I have a demo system in SAP CRM, and that's the 7.1 um, uh, enhancement package. And, and I also have the I have web access to the, the CRM, and then uh, that's the, um, the system. Uh, I'm going to create a lead, and then I have uh, this my um, um, CRM system as the, from the header code here, and then I also have a um, business one uh, system um, subsidiary number one, and it's the 8.8 .8 version uh, one here. Okay, and then the scenario. Um, what I'm going to um, show in the scenario is is that um, I would like to synchronize uh, whenever um, I create I create a lead or update the lead um, from the uh, from the SAP CRM and then automatically uh, when I save it uh, in the background um, SAP CRM would send the IDOC uh, for this lead um, to B1 ISM and B1 ISM I would create a uh, create a business partner as a lead into my business one so um, specifically, uh, let's have a look at the scenario, TTS scenario here. Uh, what I'm going to synchronize, I'm going to synchronize the information like this. I would like to synchronize um, the lead ID um, as my as my card code here, and then the uh, of course the description as my card name, and 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 also the um, 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 there was some um, additional uh, information in the SAP lead, uh, like the um, uh, qualification level, um, hot, um, warm, and cold, something like that. That's called qualification level, and also the um, priority, uh, very high and high load, and origin is coming from incoming code or campaign or something like that. This kind of information in business in the uh, standard business one, um, business partner, a uh, lead. We don't have um, such kind of information. So um, as a result, uh, I create uh, the user defined field uh, to represent such kind of information, like the source, 
I created exactly um, as the region is coming from the incoming core or companion or something like that. And the priority and height and very height exactly the same as the CRM um, setting there. And qualification level um, exactly the same as well. And then I'm going to synchronize um, that kind of information to my UDF as well. And also t um, another very important message, another important information is about the, um, the sales employee and also the contact uh, employee, contact person um, for the lead as well. I need to synchronize as well. And as you can see in the SAP CIM here, um, for this uh, lead, I'm, I have one contact person, um, Dr. Peter, um, number one finger. And then I'm going to synchronize um, the contact person, um, Dr. Finger, into business one as my uh, contact person, contact person here. And then I will synchronize the title, the name, and the address. Uh, could be if you have the uh, telephone, the email, I will synchronize the email, if such kind of information um, as well. And then another one is the uh, important uh, is the sales employee. And I would like to synchronize the um, sales employee um, uh, from here to business one as well. So that's basically uh, what I'm going to do is to synchronize um, that uh, this kind of information uh, from business one um, to SAP CRM. So um, 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 that's the landscape, that's the scenario uh, I'm, I'm going to do. Um, uh, now I would like to, uh, I would like to before I run the demo, just be sure uh, it's a live demo here. Um, I don't have, let me switch to fire mode. Just be sure I don't have the uh, card code um, 1001 for that. Now I would like to make sure um, the the lead uh, one zero one um, is not exist. Just just so it's a live demo. I'm not doing something hard to code there. Okay, does not exist at the moment in my 